Hi, you're watching Q&A and CNA, and my name is Chelsea Shar. I'll be your host today, and I'm here with Chandra Walker. She's the Juvenile Justice Program Manager at Childhood and Adolescence Behavioral Health. Mm -hmm. Is that the full title? There's yes. a lot of long titles Mouthful. here. Yeah. So this morning, welcome back to Thank the you. show. Um, we've had you on our program before, and so, but could you refresh us on kind of your background, where you grew up, and how you ended up at CNA? Sure, yeah, my name is Chandra Walker. Um, I grew up in Colorado, and I went to graduate school at Louisiana State University. And then I came to CNA for internship, and I've been there ever since. Oh, great. Yeah. Awesome. And so, so you've I'm, been all over. Yeah, all over. I have, yep. Um, your program underwent a slight name change re recently from SIBR to mm -hmm. Juvenile Justice. And can you explain to our viewers a little bit about what that means? What's significant about that? Sure. So SIBR, that stands for Cyber um, Sexually Inappropriate Behavior Remediation. That program staying exactly the same, we're not making any changes to it, is just now falling under a larger program, Juvenile Justice. Okay. And we wanted to create a program that predominantly works with court-involved youth who are experiencing like delinquency, conduct, and then of course inappropriate sexual behaviors. Right. Okay, okay. So um, under the Juvenile Justice umbrella, you guys work with the court and legal systems and clients who have had issues with electronic devices. Mm -hmm. So can you explain a little bit about how that falls under your umbrella? Sure, so the juvenile justice program, those services um, kind of vary depending on the presenting problems. They could include individual therapy, uh, group therapy, family therapy, psychiatric services, case management. Um, but those services are typically intensive and also involve participation from the family, probation, schools, and other community partners. Okay. And then the cyber program, um, that has always specialized in assessment and treatment for youth who have sexually offended or youth who are exhibiting inappropriate sexual behaviors. Okay, okay. Um, one of the challenges today with students is everyone growing up with a phone in their pocket. So mm -hmm. can you talk about um, even how to maintain their emotions when a threat is made against a community member or themselves? So how do you deal with those threats that are made? Sure, yeah, so we typically get involved when the student makes a threat at school. So mm -hmm. um, the school may suspend or expel the student and may require a threat assessment to be completed before they can return to school to ensure that they're not a threat to themselves or others. Yeah. Um, and we're seeing a, an increase in that, in those referrals at the beginning of the school year and then after winter break, those are usually coming in. Okay, yeah. and those are times that maybe students are struggling more with mental health anyway? Yeah. Is that what the yep. correlation is? Yep, Okay. Yep. yep. and returning back to school and being around other students yeah. and, and um, yeah. kind of dealing with some of those social interactions. Right, yeah. right, okay. Um, this school year has just started, so can you give some of our parents or legal guardians advice on what they should be looking for when they're checking their child's phones and devices? Yes, so they should be checking their child's phones and devices. Yeah. A lot of First parents, of all, yeah. yeah, a lot of parents uh, don't do that, and I, yeah. I understand why. Um, but we want to start checking their devices as soon as they get the privilege to start using mm -hmm. these devices. Um, don't be sneaky about it is one of the recommendations. Yeah. Like, be very open and honest with your kids and. Mm -hmm and why, give them a, a valid explanation as to why they need to be looking and monitoring at their phones. Yeah. And apps on kids' phones are changing constantly. Mm -hmm. I have trouble keeping up with all yeah. the changes. Um, so parents should ask their kids just out of a, a curious, a curiosity um, mm -hmm. instead of interrogation, but ask their kids, mm -hmm. like, what does this app do? Why do you like mm -hmm. it? Who do you communicate with on it? And yeah. um, you'll be surprised as to what kind of information yeah. you'll get when you approach it that way. Huh. Interesting, and there's even now lots of games that have chats built in that parents might not even realize they yeah. can talk to people on. So yep. there's all kinds of things that are changing. Every yes, day now. exactly. Um, and now is your program primarily working with the clients or the families more? So we're working with both. Um, so we typically will work with the client, but then we'll also work with the parents and guardians in an effort to address the factors that might be contributing to the child's delinquent mm -hmm behaviors, mm -hmm. um, right. whether it be at school or home or the community. Right. Okay, okay. Yeah. And are you seeing a rise in this behavior, you know, over recent years or is it kind of leveled out? I and mean, COVID kind of threw a loop for- For everybody. Yeah, for people being involved digitally. So how did that, uh, what are you seeing with numbers right now? So it, it comes in waves, the referrals, um, it definitely fluctuates, but something that we definitely, we've seen over time is we're getting referrals for younger kids who are exhibiting inappropriate sexual behaviors mm. more so than we ever have before. Mm. 
which in a way is a good thing because we're able to intervene more quickly, mm -hmm. um, but is also scary because younger kids are uh, right. engaging in inappropriate sexual behaviors at an earlier age. Right. So yeah. maybe exposure is of some kind happens earlier yep. than when we were kids or when our parents were kids. Exactly. Or... Yep. We can Crazy. thank cell phones for that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So is there anything else you could think to add to the show today? No. If anyone okay. has any questions or are interested in the program, give us a call at CNA and we'd love Great. to help you. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Okay. Chandra Walker, thank you for coming and thank sure. you for watching. This has been Q&A with CNA.